Now, I gave you a point earlier. When faced with deciding between uptrends, downtrends, and sideways, what is the path of least resistance? Uptrends, right? Now, now that you know how to, now that you are prioritizing uptrends, when faced with durations in price or durations in time, what do you think is the path of least resistance? Time. Mas madri and time, right? So my suggestion is, and I'm only giving you what's easiest. I mean, obviously, this is not easy, but relatively easier. So I want to be as very clear already. Step one, identify the trend, focus on uptrends. Step two, use durations to enter uptrends. And if you want to make things easier for you, focus on durations in time. Focus on that first. Focus on that first. Diba? See how you're doing. Start small. See how that works for you. So Tess has a question. When I use the FIBO tool, where do I set my stop loss and where do I set my targets for profit taking? When I enter here at this particular, that's my first entry, where do you think is my stop? So below this particular support level over here, the reason why, and that's exactly the reason why I'm using a FIBO in the first place, because I want to be able to identify a support which will serve as a pivot, which means that if it goes above, then all good. I'm holding my position. I'm looking to add more. If it goes below, then I'm cutting it and I'm moving forward to the next one. Next question is, where is my... Um, Taking profits area. So typically, what I would do is, in this particular example, I would maybe draw a channel here that connects the lows and connects the highs. So if you look at the first area where we sold or where I sold, kanya kanyang bento na kami, but the first area where I sold was this level over here. After the channel, do you guys see why I sold it? If we're going to buy at the bounce of support, then a bounce of resistance is a legitimate sell signal that we can take advantage of. So this is something that I... So obviously, I only sell it as it reacts off resistance. I'm not selling in anticipation as prices start to react off that resistance, then that's already, for me, a justified signal that, hey, that's a signal that I could, that's already price giving me a window for me to act on my position, setting off a resistance level, right? How do we now sell a stock, like, for example, is at an all-time high? Meaning internally is what we call something that is in blue skies. Diba? Meaning wala na siyang ano, wala na siyang, kumbaga wala ka ng mga kalaban na seller na nagbebenta dahil ipit. Lahat ng kalaban mo na seller, profit taking na seller. Or people, big hole, big and small holders of Wilcon shares that want to take profits. Right? If you trade a sideways area pattern like this, you can use the area pattern here to estimate the minimum upside target of the pattern. So I draw a line from the support to the resistance. You see that? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that size and put it on top of the... Oh, put it on top of the area pattern over here. So when you're dealing with durations in time, the reason why it's so much, or the reason why it's easier relative to durations in price is because once you're able to buy a breakout like this, you can easily take the size of the box and put that on top of the breakout point. Why? Because that size will represent your minimum breakout target. If I'm holding Wilcon at this particular juncture, 
I, at, at the minimum, I will consider selling if it hits that minimum breakout target. So I think looking at where prices are now, I think that's around 12.913, if I'm not mistaken, thereabouts, 12.9 to 13. However, what if it goes back below my breakout point? Then I just have to liquidate my position, right? Because the reason, the basis for my stock market operation cease to exist if it goes below that breakout point. Therefore, why should I still be in a position where my basis for entering so has already disappeared? You follow? Right? So what, what if you bought it here? You buy it here, then obviously, if it breaks out, then you're looking for the minimum breakout target as well. But you want to move your stop to the breakout point as well. You guys follow?